you want to hear a story, eh? <laughs> First, let me ask you something. What is the most important thing about a story? A model hero? A villain that makes the blood freeze in your veins? A marvelously captivating narrator's voice? Or maybe a happy ending? Hmm. In any case, I'm sure there is no better way to start a story than with... Me! <laughs> Pirate legend, Captain Kabika! <laughs> that was almost a little too easy. I did it! Again! Ah, oh, I am the best. Now, Ignatz's will of the wisp must be buried here somewhere. Alponzo! Bring me the map again! <laughs> I think I should definitely dig here. Yikes! Not on the first try. <laughs> that has never happened before. Again? Okay, uh, this is uh, <laughs> getting embarrassing. Ah, now that looks better. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you crash dieters! Hmm. Something glitters under the loosened earth right here. not gonna work. I should probably take a look at the map again. Now, how about I continue the story of me, a Ponzo and the Will of the Wisp? Sure, I could tell you that. But this story is about someone else. Cleo! Hey, Cleo! Cleo! Have you heard what butt hair Pete fished this morning? What? What did you just throw at me? Tell her, Pete! I, I guess it was a shrimp head? What? What? No! You were supposed to tell her what you had in the fishing net this morning. You are throwing a shrimp head at me? I am sitting right next to you. Couldn't you have just tapped me on the shoulder or something? Come on. Cocktail umbrellas. <laughs> what? Cocktail umbrellas. Crazy, right? There were hundreds of cocktail umbrellas in Pete's fishing net. Hey, Susie. <laughs> do I get another bottle? Ugh, my name is Cleo. Why do you keep forgetting my name? It's easy. It's C L. E. Yeah, whatever. Just get Pete the bottle. <sighs> Pete needs a new bottle of rum. Again. <sighs> Pete needs a... 
barely drinkable rum. We know rum, we make rum. No whiskey business. Postcards from the family. Each one more boring than the last. But at least they don't have to listen to boring fish stories all day. Takeaway getaway. The Adventures of Pirate Legend Captain Quebeca, Volume 23. It is so incredibly exciting right now. Hey, did you guys know that Captain Kebika? Fought against six undead skeletons? Hey, Pete, what was the name of that bay again where you find all this crazy stuff? Oh, Panamu Bay. <laughs> the best fishing spot ever. I was just about to tell you something. Do I always have to tell you this? Nobody is interested in your made-up stories. We are bartenders. Our guests tell the stories. We serve the rum bottles. We listen. Listen? You must be kidding. I can literally smell what Pete did today. He fished, and he drank rum. Yeah, right. Pete caught the fish for Herbert's fish soup. While you were just leafing through your stupid fantasy pirate book. It's not fantasy. Takeaway Getaway is the book series about the famous Captain Kabeka. Kabeka is a real adventurer, a legend, and not such a loser as... Pete? You! Kyla, do you have more of this uh, spicy sauce? Cleo! No, uh, soy. <gasps> I'll bring it, Pete. Cleo. Bring Granny Gabble a bottle of rum before you get bored to death. She's out in the dock, knitting. <sighs> aye, aye, Captain. Did Granny Gabble get the rum? Oh, uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'd rather not. The smell of Herbert's fish soup is really hard to take. I'd rather not. This Every night, at least one customer loses his hook hand in the bar. And every day our wardrobe offers more space for goats. Ew. So that's what it looks like after a man with two hook hands eats soup. This is my little sister. Can you tell me a pirate story, Cleo? Later, okay? Wait, boo. This is Pete's crew. They're playing crack and fodder. Unfortunately, I don't know the rules of the game. This is not for children! Exactly. And not for girls. Uh, yeah! And not for... Uh... Get out of here, man! But hair Pete's back. Do I really need to say more? Frank! Well, drink it up, buddy. <laughs> Dartboards in poorly lit bars. I bet that was an invention made by the eye patch industry. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Cat Stevens. Hmm, the guy looks busy. There's something printed on that barrel. Handy Reusable Assets Incorporated. Hmm. Huh. This is Grey Worm. He's currently setting a no fish caught record. Give it all you got, Grey Worm. I believe in you. Ugh, the boat smells like peat. Or is peat smelling like the boat? Whatever. Both are smelling fishy for sure. This is Granny Gabble. At least everyone calls her that. Nobody knows her real name. Hello, Granny Gabble. Yeah, I know. I'd like to be out there too. Discovering new islands, going on adventures, being anywhere else in the world but here. It's always refreshing and so much fun talking to you, Granny Gabble. We had a great laugh, right?
Wow, talking to Granny Gabble was a blast, as always. Can I please read my book now? Hey, where is it? Maybe I'll give it back to you when you've helped Hatchet Herbert in the kitchen. In the kitchen? Come on! Or your silly book ends up in the oven faster than you can say shrimp head. <sighs> Come on, Dad. The kitchen? For real? Remember your book? You know, the highly flammable one! <sighs> the oven burns extra hot today. As if it wasn't hot enough in a Caribbean kitchen. Only if I really have to. Hygiene is written in capital letters around here. It is most likely written wrong, but it is in capital letters. How does the saying go? A knife in the hand is worth two... No, wait, that was another one. Mmm, yummy. A green fish soup. Garnished with glibbery fish heads. Enriched with, well, whatever the heck is crawling into the stock pot right now. Ugh, no matter where I stand, these fish eyes are staring right at me. Ugh, spooky. Hey, Herbert. Hello, Cleo. What a nice day, huh? What a day. Mm-hmm. I'm supposed to help you. Great! That's even more fun! Please, fetch me a fish from the net. Sure. He wants me to bring him a new fish. Ew. Why are you in such a good mood? Don't you notice anything about me? Look closely. Hmm. A new hatchet? Wrong. A master cook knows. A hatchet is only as good as... The cook who chops with it? Wrong again. The board it's shopping on. Ah, I see. A new cutting board. Correct. This board is the Stradivari among the cutting boards. Some say it's almost as good as one of cutting board pits boards. Cutting board pit? What? Never heard of cutting board pit? He is a legend in the cutting board business. He only made a handful of cutting boards. Some say these boards are invaluable and unscratchable. Wow, so what happened to Cutting Board Pit? He took a blood oath to never craft a cutting board again. And then he was gone. Nobody has seen him since. What the? There's a dead hand and a book in my fish! Wow! This is a real pirate's logbook, Herbert! Holy cow! That is not going into my soup. I will inform your dad about this. I need to know what's in this book. But these bony fingers are keeping the pages closed. Hmm. Let's see. Logbook of the fearless adventurer Captain Avery Alwick. I fought three days and nights against the monster, until I could finally kill it. By today I will leave the haven. Ha! The ship may sink to the bottom of the sea under the weight of all that gold. The wind blows right for me to sail to my final destination for now. Because there's still one treasure for me to search for. The biggest one of them all. The treasure of eternal memory. Whoa, 
A real pirate. Who was that? Darn. Herbert is going to chop my head off. Oh, man. There is soup everywhere. Oh, no. The delicious soup. What the... That looks like a word. Or a name? Ye call me Lely. My fish soup! My cutting board! What's happened here? I... I mean, there was... Why the cutting board? Cleo? No, that wasn't me. It it was a ghost. A ghost? Enough. Stop telling those lies. But I'm, I'm not lying. Cleo, it's time for you to grow up. No more of this crap. My book? No! No! Tomorrow morning, you will go fishing with Pete. What? But I can't even swim. I thought you wanted to go on an adventure. And I seriously don't want to see you around here. No back talk. Cleo couldn't sleep that night, for the ghost's appearance left her no peace. What was all of this supposed to mean? The ghost, the blood splatter, Yako Malaley. Cleo opened the mysterious logbook she had found and started to write. It is too early in the morning. Hi, <laughs> and that's good. Why? A huge shoal of fish swims directly into Panamu Bay every night. I don't know where they all come from, but an old fisherman saying goes, If you fish early in the bay, you will have a very good time. You mean, good day? Ah, don't make a fool of yourself. Have a look around and explore the boat. And don't worry, I'll let you know when we approach Panamu Bay. Whoa! Pete looks really fresh this morning. He doesn't smell fresh, though. A hammer, a bottle of rum, pliers, another bottle of rum, and a tube of wood glue. Oh, wait. It's a bottle of rum, too. Ah, oh, what a nice view. This is the perfect spot on deck to throw up if the breathtaking fish smell won't stop. So, who won? Hmm? Who won at Kraken Fodder yesterday? I am standing in the hot sun, repairing the fishing net. Take a guess. Oh, I'm sorry you lost. What? Why? No, I won. Then, why do you have to repair the net? Because I can. To tie a knot is the most honorable task on board. No, it's not. Correct. It's too not. But anybody could do that. Well, anybody who grew out of their Velcro sandals, right? It may look simple, but it's science. It's an art. It's a religion. I know the 605 sailor knots from the 55 knot grandmasters. They're called the Knot Fathers. Uh-huh. On a fishing boat, every crew member should be able to master these knots. It's a matter of life and death. I can show you how to untie any knot in seconds. Do you want to know how that works? Mm. You're gonna kill us all, girl. Ever heard of the word, Yikomi Lele? 
anywhere? No. Never heard of it. Definitely not one of the Not Fathers. Well, I do not want to keep you from your holy task any longer. Good night, or whatever. Wait a minute. There's a small piece of paper behind that poster. The note says, the 10 best baits ever. Number eight made me cry. It's locked. Hey, what are you doing there? Can you teach me that? Sure. First, you need to wipe the rum and blood off the set, <laughs> so you can begin with the real maintenance. No, not the maintenance. I mean the rules of the game, crack and fodder. Oh, uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> I guess a new opponent would be refreshing. Cool. Do you have your set with you? Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> well, that's bad. Uh, maybe not Joe can lend you his set. Have you heard of the word you call me Lily anywhere before? No. What does that mean? I'd like to know that too. I'll be right back. Hey, Captain Velcro Sandals. It's me again. Shh. I need to finish this knot before I lose the thread. Through the bunny hole, round the back of the tree, whoop de whoop, and done. What do you want? Can I borrow your Kraken fodder set? No. Kraken fodder is a game for seamen. You're not a man, and you don't belong here on the high seas. An old fisherman saying goes, A good nun on the boat will keep you above water. You mean a float? And, pff, yeah, I can tie knots. <laughs> you don't even know the 55 knot fathers. Sure I do. Well, really? Prove it. No problem. Who invented this knot? It almost looks like... a three-headed butterfly with a nasty scar. Alfred? Wrong! Get out of here already. Oh, did you say knots? Ah, well, let me try again, buddy. <laughs> you don't stand a chance, but okay. A new knot it is. Let's see. How about this one? Who invented this knot? It almost looks like an immortal hamster with an eye patch. Let me think about that for a moment. Ha! <laughs> Take your time. Whoa! Pete look- he does- Do you know anything about knots? Oh, please stop talking about knots! All day long, Joe is jangling my nerves with those stupid knots! So knock it off! No, I just wanted to... If you say the word not one more time, I will throw you overboard! I swear on my mother's tattoo! Okay, okay. Wait, does your mother have a tattoo? Do you have a tattoo of your mother, or did your mother tattoo you? An old fisherman saying goes, If you remember your mother in ink, your boat will never go down. Ugh, the three of you went to school together, didn't you? Oh, this nut Joe is driving me nuts. All day I hear him gabbling over there in the cargo hold. John, Carl, Frank, ugh, gag me with a spoon. I think he built something in there to learn all those stupid names. So please leave me alone and let me know when you got the set. It's locked. Can I have the keys for the cargo hold? Sure. Fishing got you interested, didn't it? 
I think you are going to become a real fisher girl. I could literally smell it. Yay. It's locked. Hmm. Huh. There's something carved into the wood of this barrel. I feel dizzy now. A knot that almost looks like an immortal hamster with an eye patch. Right? Hey. Alfred? Wait, what? That is correct. I was afraid you'd bring bad luck to this boat, but I guess I underestimated you. Those who know the Knot Fathers are worthy to play Kraken Fodder. Here, I'll lend you my set. Thank you, brother and naughty spirit. May the Knot be with you. I'd rather not. This guy has a screw loose. I got the set! Nice! Let's start! The easiest way to learn the rules is by playing the game. Or do you want to read all the rules first? Let's just start! I will learn the rules in the game. <laughs> Do you want to play another round? Yeah, sure. Let's play again.
you won. Uh, of course, I, I lost on purpose. <laughs> I mean, obviously. <laughs> Do you want to play another round? Please, no. Oh, you're a chicken, eh? <laughs> I knew it. Let me know if you change your mind. Now, for my mom's tattoo's sake, what was that? Go! Bring me the tools before everything's underwater. Hurry! Go ahead! The tools! Hurry up! This does not look good. Maybe I'd better hurry up a bit. Oh no! Where's the knot guy? Seems the boat got damaged quite a bit. Did we hit an iceberg? Did we? Did we? Whatever that was, it was huge! What's going on below deck? There's a lot of water pouring in. I should probably bring Eric the tools. Shit, but the, what are you waiting for? Oh no! Eric? was dragged down into the deep. Yet, before she passed out, she had been able to catch a single word through the rumble of the deep sea. This is debris, from Pete's boat. I can't believe it! Oh, great. A fan. You're a real siren. Is that clear? Not a nymph and not a mermaid. Or whatever cheesy words you humans use to describe us. Remove them from your vocabulary. Understood? There really isn't anything we hate more than that. Wow. Except when people dress up in cheap fins and take selfies in their bathtub. I mean, come on. An absolute no-go. That's what I've always dreamed of as a child. Don't. Those photos will stay on the internet forever. No, not the bathtub thing. I've always dreamed of being a real pirate on a treasure hunt and meeting a real siren. You? A pirate? Yeah, with like a parrot on the shoulder and everything, you know? Hmm. What do you want? Oh, I... I just want to go home. Good. Ciao. Could you help me? No way. I'm like kind of busy right now. What are you doing there? I'm weaving a wreath of folo flowers. For who? For me. Stupid question. That's a nice looking wreath. Hmm. I don't know. It's still pretty average. Don't you think? No, not really. Who asked you? The more folo flowers, the better. And these are clearly not enough. Have you ever heard of the word you call me Lely anywhere? Wait, how do you know that name? It's a name? Where did you hear it? Uh, to be honest, a ghost wrote it on a wall in fish blood in my father's bar. A ghost? <sighs> Nobody believed me at home either. 
And that's why I had to get on that stinky fishing boat as a punishment. What happened then? And then the boat was attacked. By something enormous. The Kraken? <laughs> no way. Yeah, a Kraken. But after that, I can't remember anything. You're telling me you survived the Kraken? I don't know what happened. I woke up over there on the beach. <laughs> a little inconspicuous girl. And what do you know about the Kraken? You don't know? What? Rumor has it that if the Kraken spares someone, it means something. What do you mean? To me, that means either your story is a lie, or you are destined for something special. I will keep my personal opinion about that to myself. So, who is Yikomi Lele? Madame Yigomi Lele. She is the omniscient one. The all-seeing one. The infallible one. A fortune teller? Something like that, yes. <laughs> she probably already knew you were coming. So, is she here? You mean on this island? Oh yeah, always. Can you tell me where to find this Madame Yikomi Lele? Hmm, I don't know. Please... Stop begging! That's pathetic. A suggestion. You bring me 20 Fola flowers, and I'll show you the way. <sighs> Collect 20 flowers. So this is going to be that kind of adventure. Chop chop! Okay... Hey! Hey! Do you have the full of flowers? Not all. Well then, chop chop! Hmm, some strange signs have been carved on the stone. Welcome to the Tell Me Swamps. Hello! Ah! You scared the crap out of me! <sighs> Great, there goes my last drawbreaker. Who are you? I'm Cleo. And who are you? I am Malty. Malty Theus. Failing cocktail mixer. You make cocktails? I mix cocktails. I try cocktails. I make cocktails better. I know cocktail recipes from all over the world. And you consciously sell cocktails to people behind the wheel of a boat. Yep. This boat looks like it's been through quite a bit. That's why I'm repairing it. What happened? Same thing that has been happening for years. The boat breaks apart. I can tell you. The current on this island is a curse! Keep pushing my boat back against that rocky cliff. Don't ask me how many times I've had to put the old thing back together. How many times? Well, you are standing on board of the venerable Attempt 38. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you call your boat Attempt 38? Believe me, at some point you give up making sonorous names. What would you say the chances are that, uh, Attempt 38 will make it? To be honest, without a decent sail, rather poor. What about the sail? It's totally busted. Has holes everywhere and is way too thin. This old thing can't be patched up again. Have you ever heard of Madame Yikomi lately? If this isn't the cocktail recipe, then I don't know nothing about it. What's that strange green vending machine over there? Oh, that? A real jam, isn't it? This is the Cocktail 8000. Market-leading cocktail mixing machine. A cocktail consists of three basic components. Base, modifier, and flavor. Just put the three components in the chambers, and Cocktail 8000 does the rest. Cool. Can I try it? Sure, why not? But it's broken at the moment. Uh, start lever broke off. 
Hmm. How did you end up here? When I was a young man, I had the dream of starting my own business as a sailing cocktail mixer. My motto was, there's no problem a cocktail can't solve. If something doesn't work out, give it a shot. For years, I have collected cocktail recipes all over the world. I have invested all my savings in the best ingredients and in this boat. Darn it, my business plan even had a salt rim. What could have gone wrong, right? But? Well, of course, if you have a new recipe, you have to at least try the cocktail, right? I got this recipe from a self-help group called the Anonymous Anesthetist. And the drink was called Near Death on the Beach. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? I was thinking the same thing, so I tried it. After that, everything went blurry. I heard whispering voices, and I remember countless little blue lights. And I'm pretty sure I puked onto the desk of a pale, boring man with a semi-bald head and horn-rimmed glasses. When I woke up again, my boat was stranded on this island. I've been here ever since, trying to sail away. If I could get you a new sail, would you take me home then? <laughs> a new sail? You are an optimist. Where do you want to get it from? Well, uh... If you manage to find a decent sail and we get away from this island, then you can consider me your personal sofa for the next 24 hours. All right. I'll see what I can do. See you later. Okie dokie. Hey, it's me again. What's up? Never mind. Okie dokie. This guy went down with his boat 37 times. But these bottles don't have a single scratch. Darn, it doesn't work. Looks like the start lever is missing. Hmm, there's still room on this clothesline. The naughty crab snapped at me. She's got something against me stealing those tights. The fireplace is still hot. Someone made a fire here recently. Hmm, the drawer is locked. The lock doesn't look very secure, though. You can see the beaver over there, right through this forked branch. Ouch! Ah! Something stabbed me in the foot! Watch it, clumsy! What? Who is speaking? Down here! You stepped on one of our lances, you fool! Who the heck are you? Shrimpus Maximus! Commander of the 12,008 Legion. We have infiltrated almost every body of water in the world. We are the Shrimp Pyre. Are you an army or something? An army? No. Better. A parcel service provider. A parcel service provider? Under water? The Shrimp Pyre consists of billions of shrimp. I'm talking billions of very well-trained underwater delivery forces here! The Shrimp Pyre delivers everything in the shortest time possible to every place close to the water, excluding locations in the nautical fog. And what did I just step on? On a lance! Our entire arsenal of weapons is lined up down here! Arsenal of weapons? Didn't you just say you were a parcel service? And... Does a parcel service have to be defenseless? Let me tell you, delivering packages and pacifism do not go well together. The enemy has cut me and my men off. The enemy? Put up a barricade behind us, and now we're stuck here behind enemy lines. So far, our attacks have been unsuccessful, but sooner or later, we will bring this insurgent to his knees. Oh, you mean the beaver over there? 
I just can't stand the two-tooth malicious grin of this indomitable rodent any longer! Well, good luck then. Can you just let me through for a moment? I have to go to the other side. No way! Our arsenal! Don't you remember? If you just walk through here, we are completely defenseless and at the mercy of the enemy! You have already destroyed a land! Dear God! Look at that! Completely useless! Many thanks! Here, you can keep the damaged lance! But you won't be able to get through here until we can break through the barricade! Uh, I'll take care of the beaver, alright? Be careful, soldier! I've looked that maniac right in the dead eyes, and I can tell you, that lunatic knows no mercy! Hey, hey, hey! Slow down! The resistance hasn't been broken yet! You can't go through here! Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, hi. Are you here for the party? Party? Well, the party for worthy swamp monsters. Do I look like a worthy swamp monster to you? No, oh, of course not. You obviously lack a mustache. A mustache? Really? I am not a swamp monster! Oh, please excuse me. My mistake. I'm just so excited. This could be my first swamp monster party. I really believe this is the year it happens. What will happen? I could already feel the tingling on my upper lip. You know, I'm really late. All my friends have had one for years. One what? A mustache. Why do you need a mustache so badly? Are you kidding? Every young swamp monster pupates before the annual party in the hope of becoming a worthy swamp monster with a mustache to be able to leave the cocoon to go to this prestigious party. Couldn't you just paint yourself a mustache or glue it onto your face like normal people? Oh, don't be silly. I'm being silly? Mind you, you're the one who wants to grow a mustache. <laughs> you obviously have no idea what you're talking about. Is there anything else or can I focus on my metamorphosis again? What are you drinking there? Just some swamp water mix, nothing special. A good water balance is crucial for a dense beard growth. Nice cocoon. Oh, well observed. This is the finest multi-layer silk. Lightweight, windproof, and extremely durable. Would one of those funny peach fuzz beards work? You know, like the guys who always sit in the back of the bus have? No, won't work. It has to be a proper lip warmer, right? That's the way it is. A stupendous soup strainer? Yep. A real face furniture. That's enough. But yes, exactly. Got it. See you later. Hmm. Maybe I can pick the lock with this hairpin. Let's see. Okay, it's open. Let's see what's in there. Hmm, an old pair of red socks. And a book. Maltese Cocktail Bible. Interesting. Unfortunately, the hairpin broke. 
Why do hairpins always break immediately after picking a lock in a video game? The crab seems to be distracted for now. Wow, that would make for a real good slingshot. Take this, beaver! better than it should have, I think. We'll take care of the rest. My men are already tearing down the barricade. Here, you can go through. Thanks. Wait! You prove that you are a true ally of the Shrimp Pyre. Here, take this as a token of our eternal gratitude. A soggy stamp. If you ever need to mail something, throw the package into the water with a stamp and address. Valid for two packages. Well tied, immediate delivery guarantee. One of my men will then take care of it. Shrimp Fire! Move, move, move! Okay, that's between you and me. Understood? Wow, neatly stacked. Hey, what's that? Looks like a wooden leg. Do you have the full of flowers? I have more than enough. Great! Give them to me. Not bad, little girl. Well then, you want to meet Madame Yigumi Lely? This way. Tomorrow! Prophecy is true! You're the one! The one who finally brings light into the darkness! Oh, great. You're mistaking me for someone else. Sorry, old lady! I am not the electrician! You don't have to shout at me! I can hear you very well. Fate brought you to this place. And what kind of place is that? This is where I live, and this is where I practice. Not feng shui, obviously. As I said, I can hear you very well. I'm Cleo. 
Can you help me get home? I know exactly who you are, little one. Oh, really? Of course. You want to go home, huh? The encounter with the Kraken scared you to the bone, didn't it? You bet it did. Wait, how did you know? I know a lot about you. Most of it is easy to read, right from the eyes. Wow. And you have not only seen the Kraken with those eyes, have you? You saw a ghost with those eyes too, am I right? You are really good. That ghost? It brought you to me, hmm? I found a severed hand and a logbook in a fish. Hmm. And suddenly this ghost appeared and wrote your name on the wall. Mm-hmm. And then he was gone. Interesting. Give me your hand. Um, okay. Not yours. The severed hand you found. Oh, uh, of course. Why, though? You know, looking into the past is easy. But in order to see the future... You have to try a little harder. Ha! I knew it! Do you want to know what I've seen in your future? Have you just turned the dead hand into the soup? Hmm? What is with all these soups today? Do you want to know your fortune or no? Yeah, sure. You're the one. The chosen one. The chosen one? Yes! You will finally solve the puzzle and find it. The treasure of eternal memory! Me. No, no, that can't be true. I'm not a... What? Not an adventurer? Not a treasure hunter? Not a pirate? You won't be just anyone, sweetheart. As soon as you find the treasure, you will be the most famous adventurer of all time! I saw it, believe me. Mm, what kind of treasure is that? It's very hard to find. Many adventurers and pirates before you went on a search. But it was hidden very well. Too well. Fortunately, we know who hid it. For real? Who? Teddy McAnally. McAnally? The inventor of... This ridiculous card game, Kraken Fodder. Exactly! The legend about the treasure of eternal memory started with him. He's been dead a long time, right? Oh, yes. A long time. What's up with this ghost? Sometimes fate gives you a nudge in the right direction. I understand, but how did he know your name? You're here, right? Ready to begin the great adventure that only you are meant to embark on? Actually, I just want to go home. You survived the Kraken. Don't you understand what that means? That I'm destined for something special? For something way bigger than a boring life in a bar. I... It's your decision. But please let me give you something to take with you. A gift. What is it? Well, take a look at it. There are these strange mirrors hanging all over the place. You know everything you need to know, sweetheart. What you make of it is now up to you. From here on, I can no longer help you. A bowl half filled with glass eyes. Not scary at all. Wow, nicely organized. Order is the most important thing.
What? A parrot? A famous pirate. With a parrot on the shoulder. And everything, right? That part of your wish has already been fulfilled. The eyes, my dear. I can read a lot in them. Now it's up to you whether you fulfill the rest of your wish. As I said, it's your decision. Is he... dead? What? Don't be absurd. He's asleep. Oh, good. Would you like a drink to get through the day? Sorry, I can't make a cocktail out of it. Sorry, I can't make a cocktail out of it. Nice to see you. How about a drink? A Michael Air Jordan? Fantastic choice. Coming right away. Wow! It actually worked! The coconut milk is empty now. I'll take the coconut shell with me. I think the time has come! <laughs> I knew it! Hey, you. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Pretty awesome mustache, huh? <laughs> I know. I have to go, honey. I have some appointments to make. You understand. Let's not make a big deal out of it now. I'm not really into the big goodbyes and stuff. You won't forget me. So, what's a guy gotta do to get a drink around here, huh? Wow. This could be used as a sail. What this? A cocoon of a swamp monster with a mustache. Pff, obviously. Hmm. Great material. Lightweight, windproof. That could actually work. Yes? Looks good. Let me pack my things. And then we start with attempt 38. Cleo put the parrot cage on board and helped Multi to load the attempt 38. With a jerk, Multi hoisted the new sail, and indeed, they managed to escape from Mira Clay in the old boat. 
But before Cleo could say anything, a strange and croaking voice commanded, Tomacanelli palms! Ah! 